Welcome to an Ask a Dev random dev thought. So what is the one thing that is a gotcha that hits both noobs and beginners as well as professionals, but from different sides? Anyone? I'm going with scope and hear me out. Here's why. So you're your new beginner game developer, but you are an avid gamer. You love games. You live and breathe games. You know everything about it. And you are going to make a souls like third person photo, real fully networked worldwide dev game launch. Cause you could see it in your mind. Only problem is you have no idea what a massive undertaking this is. And this is not meant to discourage you. I'll get to that in a second. So not understanding the scope of the size of this thing that you're about to take on a game dev is something that I see a lot of beginners run into a lot. On the flip side, professionals. Well, how is scope a problem for professionals? We do this every day. This should not be an issue. We know exactly what goes into game dev and there's no way that nope wrong. Okay. So the way I see this manifest itself with professionals is you are used to and expect a top tier quality bar from yourself. So when you sit down to create an animation or a visual effect, or you, you lay out, you know, your game design documents, whatever it is that you're used to operating at, you're used to functioning at, at, as a high performing contributor to uh, a well, hopefully a well oiled machine. And as a result of that, when you go and you start doing this on your own, you're expecting that same quality of yourself. And so when you sit down to do it, if it's not that quality, it's not good enough. And maybe you are a senior, uh, senior character animator or effects artist, but you've never done game design. You, you, maybe you've even done game design, maybe you've done two or three of the things you understand. You might even know what good looks like in all the disciplines because you've been around game design or game development like for years. At the same time, you haven't done it. You don't have an army of engineers to help you. You don't have an army of uh, narrative designers, game designers, level designers. Audio alone is just a massive thing. And so to expect that quality bar of yourself as a solo or indie artist is going to be uh, a tough thing for that to, for you to kind of swallow. And so the scope of the size of the thing you're doing, I'm almost guaranteeing you is more than you realize. Now, getting back to, so, so that's kind of what it is scope from both sides, right? From the kind of beginner side and from the pro side, um, the, this issue of scope. Now I am not here to tell you or discourage you from taking on this challenge. In fact, ask anybody at work. I am like forever the optimist. I say yes, way too much. And, uh, you know, I, I definitely think you can do it. However, I would encourage you to seriously consider scoping back your project, scoping it way back. If you can even ship a single thing, if you ship anything at all, that will be a monumentous accomplishment. Now, part of the other caveat to this is, look, this may be your Sistine Chapel. You may spend the next four years on your back painting this masterpiece and it could come out stunningly. But I think it's important to understand some just just some numbers to kind of keep things in perspective. You know, uh, Diaba, 300 plus artists working seven plus years. Not only is it just the sheer person hours of that many people working for seven years, you got to understand all those people have somewhere between five and 10 years of experience within their individual crafts. You multiply that out. It is thousands of thousands, thousands of hours. I think I did the math once. It was like 13 plus years of work, if not more. So something to consider. Uh, I've worked on many small teams, 80 people for multiple years, still didn't finish shipping prototypes or games or whatever. Uh, you know, uh, we shipped uh, Zig's Arcade Blast. This is one that I use a lot. Uh, we did a Thunderdome project at Riot one point. It was Zig's Arcade Blast. I think there were like 40 of us. We worked for 72 hours. You work out the man or the the the, um, the manual labor that went into that and the number of person days it took to do it. And you, I think I worked it out to be like a year without factoring in the multiple years of experience for top tier craft contributors. 
And so mentally in my mind, I was like, okay, if, if it took us three days, you multiply that out for a year. Okay, maybe it takes me a couple of years to get a similar thing done. That was one level, one level. So now the other thing I would say is, again, if maybe with the advent of AI and some other things that, you know, maybe we can move more efficiently in smaller teams and things like that. However, there's also a little bit of, you know, hey, Kevin said we couldn't do it. I'm going to do it anyways, just to prove I'm wrong. I love that. Okay. If this is your Marty McFly, shove it back and ask a dev's face. I love it. If this is the motivation you need to stay hyper-focused for a year to three or four years straight and get it done, I, I would love nothing more for you to send me a note or your game. I'll even pay to play it. I, you know, send me, send me your game to play and say, see, take that ask a dev and I will be so stoked for you. It will be amazing. But bottom line, the mistake or the gotcha that I see and mistakes the wrong word, the gotcha that I see is from both sides, from a beginner noob side and from a pro, pro side is probably scope. That's the one I'm going with. So I'm curious, what do you all think is the biggest mistake or gotcha that you see? And along those lines, if you have thoughts on other things that we should be thinking about, throw those down in the comments. We'll check them out. As always, thanks for watching the video. My name's Kevin. Catch you on the next one. Take it easy.